And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking north on 13th Street North. A little cloudy out there right now. We're at 8 degrees. That is our daytime high. We've been there since 1 p.m. We got down to minus 4 degrees at midnight, then warmed up a bit, then got back down to minus 4 later in the early, early morning hours. So we fluctuated a little bit, but now we're at 8 degrees. All the numbers in southern Alberta reflecting the fact that we're picking up some warm air. Not as warm as we're going to be tomorrow and Saturday. And then, as Alyssa and I were saying, that's kind of the end of it for a while. But uh, we'll enjoy it while it's here. Nice temperatures to the west of the Continental Divide, but very gray, very wet, big low pressure center pumping in that moisture, that precipitation. We've got snow up in Prince George. We've got rainfall warnings out for Vancouver Island and the Sunshine Coast. Could see 80 millimeters of rain there by this time tomorrow. So that's a lot of rain in a 24-hour period. So you can see that rain uh, snow combination here in the pink. It's going to be isolated pretty much to the west of the Continental Divide. Now, having said that, little bands are slipping across uh, as we get into tomorrow. It doesn't look here, though. The forecaster wants to put precipitation into the Lethbridge area. I'm thinking our winds are going to be gusting to 60 tomorrow, so that's going to blow away any cloud cover. Even the cloud cover that we are seeing right now is simply because our winds have reduced. They were a little stronger earlier today when we had total sunshine, but reducing the winds allows a little bit of that drift off of cloud. It's Sunday when all of that precipitation makes its way into southern Alberta. And we have some flurries mixed with some showers turning to periods of snow, but I'll talk about that in a minute. We've got minus one and freezing drizzle in St. John's. The only warnings out for eastern Canada are right along the mouth of the St. Lawrence for some heavy snowfall and winter storm warnings into the Maritimes as well. Could see about 20 centimeters of snow in through New Brunswick and in through Nova Scotia overnight tonight and early tomorrow morning. So they'll have some cleanup to do tomorrow afternoon. Minus eight degrees in Winnipeg right now, minus five in Regina, minus four in Saskatoon, plus five in Edmonton and sunny there. Four in Kelowna, raining on the coast in Vancouver. It's Well, they did manage to see a little bit of a sun and cloud mix in Whitehorse this afternoon. Uh, not so much in uh, Yellowknife, snowing and minus 15 degrees there right now. East Kootenai overnight tonight, cloudy with flurries mixed with showers. One degree for a low. Ten degrees tomorrow. Some morning showers and flurries. Mostly cloudy in the afternoon. Maybe a ray of sunshine late in the day tomorrow. Crow's Nest Pass, partly cloudy tonight. Two degrees for a low. Ten degrees for a high tomorrow and mainly cloudy and mainly windy for you throughout the day. Medicine Hat, clear tonight, sun and cloud mixed tomorrow, 12 degrees for a high. And here in Lethbridge, we're looking at partly cloudy to cloudy skies in the overnight hours. And then tomorrow, the winds will kick up once again. We'll have a sun and cloud mix heavy on the sunshine. 15 degrees is the expected high tomorrow as an area of high pressure really, really takes hold into southern Alberta. It's kind of making inroads now, but it'll really anchor itself for tomorrow and again for Saturday. And then the area of high pressure sinks to the south, we get into a northerly flow as a low pressure center moves across, causes that rotation in the wind speed. So zero minus two and zero. Uh, we're looking at rain snow on Sunday and then you can't really see it in the graphic, but we're looking at periods of snow on Monday. And then on Tuesday, a sun and cloud mix with a leftover chance of a flurry. So there is an end in sight, but we've got to get through a few chilly days before we start the climb back up again. It looks like that'll happen late in the week tomorrow. Dory Story, part two of our series on what goes on at 5th on 5th. I'm on the Investing Youth Campaign Committee, so we get to organize and plan the Taste of Lethbridge event, which is a lot of fun for those of you who've been. It's uh, delicious and a great night to meet lots of people. Um, I'm very happy to support the event because it uh, gives so much back to the community, I think. Our youth are our future, obviously, and um, it's the key to making sure we have a strong community going forward and making sure that Alberta is a strong place to be in uh, the job market here and that our youth in the city have the skills they need to, to get you know, good skilled employment and uh, you know, make sure that Lethbridge is continuing to be a great place to live. I think that 5th on 5th provides an opportunity um, to uh, have people come in who maybe think they can't make it and just get a load of encouragement and get a few skills that allows them um, to find a job and, and write a resume that they're really proud of and um, bring that out um, and present it to businesses. Volunteering is, is my spark, like it is a lot of who I am and because Youth being unemployed and underemployed is a really serious issue in Alberta, in Canada, in North America, and my time here is important to solving this issue. And I, fi I find that I, this job is very rewarding. 
unpaid or paid. Dory's Story, sponsored by Langenberg Optical. Voted best of the best for 2012.